What's up? Welcome. So, as you know, I moved from New York to Chicago to do my MBA. I actually paid $27.50 in New York, and now I'm paying $24.90 for this beautiful apartment. We're gonna start with the laundry room. It was a luxury in New York to have your washer dryer in unit. And now in Chicago, I have this beautiful dryer with clothing inside. We don't have to look at that. And I have the washer that has a little thing in the middle. I can fit my comforter in there. Another thing that I didn't have in New York was storage room. I have this storage closet all for myself. I have my bags here, my jackets, more cleaning supplies. And if we turn around, we're gonna go to my beautiful bathroom. By the way, I live by myself, so this is new to me. I have a bathroom to my own, and that comes with a lot of storage. More storage that I know what to do with. I have a fully functioning sink, which is always important. And I have a fully functioning toilet. Check it out. Mm -hmm. It works. Camera woman, now we're gonna go towards my favorite part of the house, which is the kitchen and the living room. Let's start with the kitchen. You walk in, you have a beautiful island in the middle, lighting on top. I have a lot of storage room for myself. Another fully functioning sink, which is awesome. And a stove, a microwave, and an oven that I actually haven't used and will probably use once. Or never. Or never in the next two years. Now for the fridge, I have a fridge and a freezer all by myself. Completely you might say, empty. What? It's completely empty. It's, you know, it's, it has what I need. Chicken. Energy drinks, ham, water. What else do you need? Basic necessities. Basic necessities. And behind the island, there's more storage where I have a bunch of pans, things to cook, which is awesome. And if we go all the way to the corner, try to ignore the view for now, we have a desk. This desk actually came with the apartment, which was nice. I bought this chair from Amazon. It was actually like $200, which is expensive, but I'm gonna be spending a lot of time sitting here, so I thought it was an investment on my health. After that, everything else pretty much came from New York. And now we can look at the beautiful view. I have a view of downtown Chicago. I live in the Loop, so it's mostly buildings, but again, in New York, I lived in Little Italy on a second floor, so this is definitely an upgrade. And then we have the living room, which is where I spent most of my time. The most important piece definitely is my sofa. I spent around $800 on it on Amazon. I would say it's pretty comfortable. What do you think, camera woman? They're really good for naps. Really good for naps, I agree. It comes with more storage, which is always nice. Even though you don't use it. I don't use it, and as you can see, I built this myself, so it's not the smoothest opening, but it's there if you need it. I also have this coffee table that I got from Ikea. It's called the Lack, and it's only 30 bucks. Honestly, more than you need for a coffee table to put some books and your remote control there, it works. And then this room doesn't have much light besides the light that comes from the outside. So I bought this little lamp. It does the job. I did not approve this. <laughs> <laughs> and if you come this way, camera woman, one of the features of the sofa that I love is that I can be watching TV while I charge my iPad and my iPhone. It has two USB outlets, which is pretty cool. And if we turn around, I bought the Brins TV stand from Ikea, also a hundred bucks. And honestly, it's more than I need. I just wanted it for my PlayStation, my Nintendo Switch. And then here, I'm gonna put some books that I haven't done, but it's coming. And another cool thing that I recommend is if you come behind the TV, I have some pretty cool cable management. I have the power plugged in there, and I have the two HDMI cables going behind the wall. So it looks pretty. And now we're moving towards my room. It's a studio, but it has this sliding door separating the room. It's basically a one bedroom, so it's really, really nice. So let's go to the room. So as you can see, I only have the essentials here. This is the mom Ikea bed frame. It was like $250 without the storage in the bottom. And I also got this air purifier, which is $200. I saw that it helps with dust allergy. Honestly, I think it's, it's helped me so far. I don't know if it's, if it's placebo or not, but it works. Then I have the mom nightstand, which is $90. Honestly, pretty expensive for what it is. Two drawers, but it matches with the bed, it looks pretty. And another one of the lamps. Another are, one of those that I do not like. Another one of these that are completely beautiful. The camera woman doesn't like it, I like it. Then I have another TV that I brought from New York. And then we have the closet, which is insane because in New York I didn't even have a closet. And now I have insane space for everything. Pretty beautiful, it's like my little cave. The most impressive part is that my rent doesn't only go to paying for this space. 
I also have a bunch of amenities that we'll go check out now. We have one gym for core exercises, which is cool because it's always empty. Then we have a second gym with cardio equipment, weights, and other strength machines. On that same floor, we have my favorite area, which includes the pool, a hot tub, a sauna, and a steam room all indoors, which is clutch because you can still use them over winter. There's also a small TV room as well as a movie theater to watch anything you might want. Then they also have a business center with computers, a kitchen, more computers and conference rooms so MBA students can talk about business and stuff. Right outside you have some tanning chairs for the three months of summer in Chicago in addition to some barbecues. And then lastly, my favorite part, which is the rooftop in the 42nd floor with amazing views of the city. So there you have it. That's what $2,492 gets you in Chicago, Illinois. I think it's pretty impressive, especially compared to New York, which is where I lived before. If you want to check out my previous apartment tour in New York, which I filmed about a year ago, you can go here. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe. We drop videos every Wednesday. So I'll see you next week. Peace.